Hey guys! Today we're going to be talking about why we should be reading the Bible. So when I first devoted all my life to Christ, I had this sudden urge where I just wanted to know everything out there was to know about Jesus, all about God's character and you know, all the stories in the Bible, and there was just this huge hunger for me to know about it. And just like food, the Bible serves as a spiritual food for us. And so when we go without eating food, it makes us weaker, and there's all these negative side effects. And so when we go without reading the Bible, it makes our faith weaker, and we're more susceptible to stumbling in our faith. And if you read in Romans 10, 17, it reads, So faith comes from what is heard. And what is heard comes through the message about Christ. As Christians, one of the things we want to do is strengthen our relationship with God. And so an essential way to do that is by reading the Bible. 2 Timothy 3.16 reads, All scripture is God breath and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. So when it says it's God breath, it means the word is alive and it's relevant and it's timeless and that God used the people who wrote the Bible so it will be available for us to read. So God is able to speak to us through the scriptures in a very personal way. And no, I'm not saying opening up your Bible in a random page and saying that's what God is saying to you because the Bible is not about us. We are not the main characters in the Bible and we have to remember that. Another reason that I can come up with is one of our missions as Christians is to help others receive salvation, help others know about Jesus Christ and this amazing thing called grace. But how are we able to do that and how are we able to share things like that if we don't read the Bible? We won't have any lasting knowledge of that and so I think it's very important to read the Bible for that reason as well for other reasons. The Bible also tells us Christians on how we are supposed to be living our lives for Christ with love and love and love and speaking life and kindness and just all these different things. But how can we apply that and live it out if we don't read the word, guys? Okay, I'm going to end it off with this last key point and I'm going to read a verse. It's Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 through 12. Put on the full armor of God so you can stand against the tactics of the devil. For our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against authorities, against world powers of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavens. Do you guys hear that? It says that our enemy is the devil and that we are in a spiritual battle every single day. So the devil is gonna attack you and the devil is gonna want you to stay far away from the truth and from far away from having a good relationship with God. And so I think a lot of times he can be that voice in the back of your head saying, you don't have to read the Bible. You can read it later tonight and then you don't end up reading it. You know, I feel like that he's saying those things to you so you won't be consuming the truth. So why am I encouraging you to read God's word? It's because when you feed your heart God's words, his words will be in your heart to guide you, to teach you, to convict you, and to equip you with your walk with God. But it's not enough to just read the Bible just to read it. You want to be able to read it so you can understand it and understand it so you can apply it to your lives. But if you don't know how to study your Bible so you can do all those things, I made a blog post that serves as a continuation of this video that will share some tips on how you can study your Bible and some tips that helped me personally. If you felt like I didn't make something very clear or I need to expand on a certain point, then just comment down below and I'll try to get back to you. I have a very limited amount of time of what I want to say in my videos, so that can happen. And I also want to wish you a happy week. <laughs> yes. Happy week. Bye, guys.